Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Klagemauer TV. Today, you will hear a report about the news agency, the Anna News, whose reporters were in Syria and witnessed an anti-terror operation. And they are convinced there are no sea weapons used in Jorba. The employees of the news agency, Anna News, that were in the relevant district East Gotha at the time of the alleged chemical weapon attacks, described the situation there. At the end of last year, this place was occupied by elite forces of the Al-Nusra Front. Because of the ongoing fight, all civilians left a long time ago. There are no women or children here anymore, even though their dead bodies are still presented to us by the Western media these days. There are also no troops of the Free Syrian Army in that place, but only international terrorists from the foreign Al-Qaeda units, as well as professional foreign mercenaries who were trained by US instructors in Jordan, amongst others. The journalists report that at this location an anti-terror operation was taking place on August 21st of 2013. With dozens of cameras operating from different angles, we were recording without interruption the complete progress of the operation. From the pictures of the explosions, every expert can easily see that the army only used conventional ammunition. There is no creeping smoke at all. Considering the windy weather, the conditions of close combat and the soldiers not wearing any gas masks, the soldiers and the cameramen filming on the front line should have been affected massively by the chemical agents as well. But there is nothing of the sort. This shows once more that the media campaign about sea weapons operations by the army is a lie. Thank you very much for watching Klagemauer TV today. Goodbye and stay tuned.